Hi guys, it's Gianni, and today I'll be showing you how to run a transient analysis of your circuit in LTSpice. Now in the last video, Athena and I showed you guys how to build a simple circuit using LTSpice, and that's the same exact circuit that I have here. It's just a battery, a battery with a 5 volt input, DC input, input, and two resistors of 1 ohm and 3 ohms. Now, we mentioned in the last video that you'll have to put a ground on your circuit in order to run the actual analysis. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'll just double click on that wire that leads right to the battery, to the negative end of the battery, and go to label net, and you'll see that the two options, ground and comp, show up. I'll hit ground, and then OK. And that triangle symbol right there is our icon for ground. Now, once we have our ground, we can go ahead and type in our spice directive for the transient analysis. For Mac, it's a little bit different than a PC, but the exact same concept. In the Mac, I'll just have to go ahead and write out everything for myself. So I'll go and double click and I'll get this list right here. Go to Draft and then Spice Directive. And this Edit Text on the Schematic window will pop up. For Transient Analysis, I want to write dot .tran. And then you'll choose an interval of time that you want to view. And it usually goes from the origin to the end of that time interval that you've chosen. For a DC signal, it won't matter as much the time interval. But for an AC signal, especially with high frequency input signals, you want to choose a really small time interval to be able to observe the phenomena. For now, I'll just put one millisecond so that we can see the effect it has on our DC signal. So I want to click that anywhere in our window, and to run the actual analysis, I'll hit the Running Man icon right there, and it'll highlight and say Run. I'll click that, and this black window shows up. I'll just make that fit in here. So you'll see that in our circuit, excuse me, You'll see that in our circuit, we have these icons that show this icon that'll say click to plot device current. And then it can also show you this pen here where it'll plot our voltage. Now I can click anywhere on my circuit to observe what's going on. So I can click one of the resistors to see the current that's going through it and it'll show it right here. And I can also click my other resistor to see the current that's going through it. And we'll see that those lines overlap as they should because current should be conserved among the whole circuit. Now, if I want it to go ahead and just view one thing, I can double click and now I have the voltage right before the first resistor, which should be five volts because there hasn't been a drop yet. If I want to view it against the voltage between the resistors, it'll plot those two lines. If I want to just see that voltage between them, I can double click and it'll just show me that one. And you can go ahead and play around with this one to see what the different values will be and plot everything against each other. It'll color code them so that you can be able to distinguish them. Well, that's how you can run a transient analysis on your simple circuit using LTSpice. Thank you guys for watching.